guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with another fun unboxing video, and that is an unboxing for the March Owl Crate box. Owl Crate is a bookish subscription box that I have done several unboxings for, so I will leave all of those linked in the description box. But this is an unboxing that I'm specifically excited for because I am now officially an Owl Crate rep, which means that they will send me one of their boxes every month to do an unboxing for you guys here on my channel, and I'm so, so excited about it because they are one of my all-time favorite bookish subscription boxes. If you watched my last unboxing that I did for them where they had the runaway with the circus theme, you guys will know how much I loved that box because it had a lot of night circus themed items. So I have just fallen completely head over heels for this box. So I'm so, so grateful that they asked me to be a rep for them. And that also means that I get to provide a discount code for you guys. So if you wanna get 10% off of your first order, then you can enter my code clockwork and you will get 10% off. I don't gain any sort of commission or anything from the code. It's just for you guys to use if you want to try out Owl Crate for yourself, then by all means go ahead and do it. I think it's a great thing and I'm so so excited to be working with them. The theme for this month's box is Sailors, Ships, and Seas and I think that it's going to be so fantastic. So without any further ado, let's just get into opening this up. Tape is cut and now let's see what's inside. This is so beautiful! So this is the card for this month's box and it has this beautiful, beautiful artwork of this ship with like the Owl Crate logo as a little pirate on the sail and it's beautiful. I love the color scheme. The other side just has all of the information for everything that's in here, but I'm not looking at it. No spoilers. <laughs> Okay, so taking the first thing right off the top, it's adorable. It is this notepad, I'm pretty sure it's a notepad, with this cute little octopus or squid or whatever it is. It's just so cute, I love it so much. Again, I just really like the colors on this. And like, how am I supposed to use this? It's too cute. I don't wanna write or draw on this. It's so adorable, I would mess it up. I mean, I use notepads for everything because I constantly make lists, but like, it's so cute. This next thing is all folded up, so let's open it up and see what it is. Oh, is this like a hand towel? Yeah, this is like a hand towel. This is so pretty though. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up over my face so you guys can like see the artwork on it, but it's this ship. A ship is always safe at shore, but that is not what it's built for. That's so cute. That is seriously so, so cute. My mom is going to love this. She loves pretty hand towels, so I'm probably gonna give it to her. <laughs> the next thing that is in here is this little promotional card for a book called Song of the Current by Sarah Tolser. I've never heard of this book before, so I don't know what it's about, but they always usually include little promotional things for other books. <gasps> oh my God. This next thing is so beautiful. Okay, so this is a roll of washi tape, but it's like, mermaid scales washi tape. It's purple and then the scales are like gold foil and it's so gorgeous. I journal a lot so I like using washi tape and I'm gonna get so much use out of this. Like I don't want to use it because I don't want to run out of it. The next thing in here is the Owl Crate exclusive pin that they have in all of their boxes and it has like the artwork that was on the card of the little owl pirate and this one's really really cute. I think this is my favorite pin so far. And the book for this month's box is Daughter of the Pirate King and I love this cover so much. It reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean and I love Pirates of the Caribbean so much so I'm hoping that this book has something to do with that. Let's open it up and read the synopsis. Oh okay so first there's like a couple of things in here as well. There's this awesome tattoo. Um, I love temporary tattoos. I think they're a lot of fun to use because I really like dressing up in costumes and stuff. Um, so this is really, really cool. The next thing in here is a signed book plate to put inside the book. And then there's also this letter from the author, which is like handwritten. It's, I mean, printed onto here, but like originally handwritten. And it's on this piece of paper that kind of looks like a scroll. And I just think that's a really nice touch. Okay, so let's read the synopsis of this book. It says, sent on a mission to retrieve an ancient hidden map, the key to a legendary treasure trove, 17-year-old pirate captain Alosa deliberately allows herself to be captured by her enemies, giving her the perfect opportunity to search their ship. That sounds really cool, and that reminds me of like one of the Pirates movies where I think that Captain Jack Sparrow like intentionally gets captured or something. I don't even remember. Like they go on Barbosa's ship at some point on purpose, um, and that just 
like sounds like this and like I said I'm obsessed with Pirates of the Caribbean so if this is anything like that I'm absolutely going to love it. Also it's like a female pirate which we rarely get any of so I'm just so so excited. I love piratey things and I'm really hoping to love this. And then lastly of course there's the little card that tells you what next month's theme is and the April box theme is Head Over Heels so it sounds like this is probably going to be a contemporary but that is everything that was in the March Owl Crate box. Again a huge huge thank you to Owl Crate for sending this box over. I really really enjoyed everything that was in the box. I love this theme. I love pirates like I mentioned. I love mermaids and underwatery stuff so this was super fun for me. Of course I will leave links to all of Owl Crate's information in the description box as well as my code if you want to get 10% off of your first order. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite item in this box. Also if you'd like to follow me on any of my social media all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!